Hi, my name is Magnus Bernstein and in this video you can see how to use the BIM object L-Sync definition for Revit and ArchiCAD. Let's start with Revit texture based families. These kind of families include a different available disposition of each tile or cladding system. They are system families with textures attached that you can use for any system family object. Like a wall, here you can see a list of the available combination of disc cladding systems. Let's try this one in a wall. It's the flat locked free edge interlocked cladding system with a crystal finish. Clicking on edit type you can see all the parameters and the values for this type. And you can see the material properties of the crystal finish. You can also select other type difference here. Or from this list too. Now let's see the Revit pattern based families. Here we have one of the families, the square tie one, with all the different types available. Let's show how to use these definitions in a sample project, created with Revit mass instance. First of all we need to select one of the patterns based definitions and press Ctrl C. Then go back to the project and press Control V. Let's rotate it. Now we need to create a mass at this side of the roof. Here we have it. Let's change its thickness. Ok, now let's select the upper face of the mass. Edit in place, select the upper face, dividing surfaces. And then we can select the pattern, the one that we have copied will appear in the list. Here it is. Now it's applied to the mass. Now let's see how to use these patterns in a curved surface like this one. This time we will choose a green tile. We also need to change the size. Now it fits correctly. The angle can be corrected too. Finally, let's see how to create L-Sync definitions inside ArchiCAD. They have been created as a surface definitions inside an LCF file. Let's load it. We have created the sample cladding system data. This time is the angle seam one. Here we have all the system information, finishes and layouts. Now let's place it. The sample objects include a text that explains how to use the surface definition in any ArchiCAD element. Let's see the surfaces. The text says click new. Then say new from catalog. Now let's load the definition. Let's choose this one. Now we have it ready to use in any ArchiCAD tool. For example, let's see how to use it for a building material. New material. And select the surface here. 
Now let's create a composite wall definition with a layer of this material. It will have two layers, one made of brick and the other with an L-Sync building material. Insert new layer, change this one to the L-Sync material and set the width. Once the composite is defined, we can use it to place a wall.